Hello Saxo fans, episode 22. Here we go. But I wasn't going to show you any of this. I was just going to get on with it and show you the finished product. But I thought it was worth showing because something did make me laugh. So, as you know, or you might not know, Saxo's rust and rot in a few key areas. Boot floor, this car was good. Didn't have any issues. You saw me do all that restoration in some of the really early episodes. Rear arches, uh, they, they're double skinned and water can get open between the two. Rust from the inside out. I've sorted that on this. Uh, and then you've obviously got the inner wings. So this is obviously a repair that I did in the last episode. I'm going to replicate that here. Now it's on that side, I wanted to show you uh, a repair that one of the previous 10 owners has done. It's particularly horrific. I always knew this, this place had been patched up when I bought the car. I just didn't quite realize how bad the patch was. Anyway, I've already cut it out, so it's too late for me to show you now, but I will show you a picture. So here's that. There you go then. So as you can see, the welds were significant, shall we say. Anyway, so I've cut that out and um, yeah, I'm, I'm about to make the patch. But what I also need to show you, I haven't done this yet, I will just swing you around, is, is the patch for under the ECU. Because that's equally as bad, so I'll show you that as well. Now, I'm no fabricator or welder, but I'm pretty sure I can do a better job than that. So could most people, to be honest. Anyway, yeah, this isn't, this isn't like silicon or anything like that over a top of weld. That is actually just really, really thick weld. And it goes up here so much, quite high up, because it was covering a little sort of hole here. It's not particularly large, so, you know, cutting that out would be dead easy. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to replicate what I've done over here, over on this side. So it's going to make uh, life a bit more difficult to cut that out cleanly especially as I have to be careful of the engine mount, which I'm sure part of has been cut, because I think it's supposed to come further over here. So what I might do is cut this out, replace the panel, and then extend the engine mount back over again. And then, uh, of course, I need to sort this out. So I'm going to deox all of this, put a load of uh, under sealy stuff inside the chassis leg. I've got my patch pretty much cut out. So go over here. So I weld that back on. That'll make that look even <laughs> semi-decent. And then I can focus on this bit under here. But you can see the, the plate that someone's put in because the edge of the plate, I can get my fingers behind that. It's, it's a particularly, particularly poor job. But anyway, we'll get it out somehow, one way or another. Anyway, back into the garage and let's start cutting that plate out.
Right, so made that patch. We've officially come full circle. So, Saturday morning, and it is hailing, snowing, raining, all sorts. If you remember when I got the car and parked up for the first time, it was snowing. So anyway, here we are, sort of nine months later, same again, hat and jackets back on. <clears throat> anyway, the patch is in, I can't do the, put the pack, weld the patch in yet, because I'm waiting for my deox to turn up. You know when you order something on Amazon, you think, oh, that'll be here tomorrow, then you realise the delivery was like two weeks. So yeah, we've got to wait for that. <clears throat> anyway, I am going to put in a very quick montage of me cutting out this other patch, because it is the same as the other side, albeit a little bit trickier. So yeah, let's do that. snow update weather fans yeah not, not as bad as some areas of the country by the sound of it but we're getting a good dust in but we live on the back of an allotment over that fence and uh, not only do I have Oti the dog we also have Harry the cat and one of the delights of having a cat is uh, yeah the little treats he brings back for you so thanks for that Harry I'll have to sort that out or I might leave it for Steffi to clean up. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd just show you very quickly where I got to with the grinding. It's slow progress. So, got all this bit out nicely. Obviously, I need to trim the width here to, to suit the panel. I've just essentially cut where the engine mount went to. Just cut a straight line. And the tricky bit now is actually getting out all this lumper weld on the side. So I'm just sort of weighing up the best way to do that. But we're making slow progress. We'll get there. There we go then, I think I've got the panel bolted in. Well, I say bolted in, just G-clamped in a few places. There's one under, under here as well. Um, tucked it underneath the engine mount. And yeah, so I'm either going to extend this over here once it's sort of tacked in place. Um, yeah, and then the rest of it can get welded in like the other one. Interestingly, as I started clearing away some of the um, under seal here I noticed there's just a few weak spots here I thought well that's a bit flimsy so yeah obviously went, went away with the Dremel and just took away uh, any of the weak bits so I need to just patch up in here as well which is not great because obviously that's a structural part so I'll make sure I do a really good job of um, getting that strong again but I took it back to good metal as far as I can so um, yeah a bit disappointing but hey ho it's not a massive hole and it's accessible so I'll get that fixed. Um, so as you can see, what I had to do was take that whole side panel out there, because obviously it was rusty anyway. So I need to make a panel for that, but I figure what I'll do is I'll get all of this welded in, 
spot weld these um, side bits back in. Make sure this is all secure. Get this front bit back on, just spot welded back on, so it's not going to move. And then I can make up a plate to cover up where I cut it out essentially. And what I did, this is obviously the main sort of chassis member here that comes along. I made sure that I cut just underneath it, so I haven't actually touched that at all. It's only really this sort of inner part of the leg which I will obviously put a plate in. So, yeah, I think I just need to make up a little plate. Obviously I can get this one done down here too. But I feel like I'm starting to make headway with it now. And it looks nice, you know, all the grooves sort of line up in the body where the original ones come, um, come across. There is a slight one there as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next welding job. So those of you who have had a browse at a satchel website will know you can get these strengthening plates that go on here. Obviously there's a matching pair. Now a couple of issues before I fit those is uh, you can run a strut brace that runs from either side. I can't do that. I can't run the optional strut brace because my uh, master cylinder will sit here and in, in the way and I'll run a standard bonnet, so I won't be able to run the strut brace, I don't think. <laughs> but there's nothing to stop me putting in all the strengthening and the bracing. So, obviously you get these top plates, and you get the bars that go down onto the, the lower suspension mounts here. Um, and obviously they brace up to there. And also, you get the couple of gusset plates. So, first job really is, first job is, is it, it clashes here. On there on both sides and on the opposite side we have all of the bracket for what was the fuse box here and the fuel cutoff switch the big red switch so this this whole little bracket assembly here needs to come off and out the way and I'll have to figure out another way of mounting those later so first things first let's get this little bit notched out and these bits removed
Right, quick test fit then, just to see how it goes on. Obviously there's a nice little gap there that I can weld into. So I've just bolted that down with some 10 mil bolts, 13 mil nuts with some washers underneath. You can see how much I've just taken away there. I could have got away with just taking away that there, but it's gonna make it really difficult to weld in down here. So I thought I'll take that away, make it nice and smooth curve. Looks pretty good. When it's all painted, it'll look great. I'll mimic that on the other side as well. So now I'm happy with, with how, uh, how flush that sits. Uh, I'll take this off and I'll obviously get all the paint off, get it ready for welding and, and I'll tack that one in place. But before I do that, I just want to make sure that the, uh, the gusset plate and the bar that goes down to the lower arm down there is, um, yeah, it's going to fit. So I'll just get that in place now. Right, plate's on, bar's in. I had to set the plate back off to get the bar in because it sits inside the recess that's cut here. So that's in. Uh, that's going to move over nicely. I'll have to obviously tack that in and then uh, let go of it to weld it. I didn't have to cut that in the end. I think it's going to be very tight, but sorry, just down there. It's going to be very tight, but clearance is okay. <clears throat> so yeah, and then obviously I can put the gusset in. I'm going to have to take a little whisker out of the gusset because uh, it doesn't account for the little spot weld on there for the engine mount. So I'll have to just sort of take a little, little notch out of that, but that's okay. So I'm going to whip this off, have a final clean. I could do a, do a clean a bit more down here. Um, yeah, and then I'll start tacking it in and see how we go. Okay, top plate welded in. It's actually nice to weld something thick once in a while. So that's all good. Got a few bubbles to clean off in here from the spatter. But yeah, quite pleased with the welding, considering, as I said before, it's only a 100 quid welder, but I think it's done a decent job. So I'm quite pleased with that. So I just need to modify the gusset a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll, then I'll tap that in and weld it in. So, let's modify that. So that's notched there. You just see a tiny little bit taken out. And that's to account for the engine mount where that's welded on there. So, this roughly is going to sit in there. So it's going to be difficult to film this because uh, getting an angle from it is going to be tricky. So I might just show you the, the finished article. So let me just tack it in. There we go, seam welded in. Jobs are good and happy with that. So, next onto the other side, and I think there's three little spot welds on here to take this part of the bracket out. So, I'll do all of this side. I won't film any of that because it's the same as what you've just seen, but I will show you the after. Let's get on with it. There we go, then, welding fans. That's the other side all in. Again, seam welded the little gusset panel in there. It's all been welded down there, plenty of clearance just between the, in there, it's about sort of three or four mil of clearance I think, maybe not even that. Yeah, but I'm really happy with that, obviously I bolt the plates down to, to weld them in so I'm just going to let that cool down and then I can pull it out. But I think that's basically the welding done. So 
the next thing is to get cleaning so I'm just going to talk to you about that about what I've bought so let me show you that right on to the last thing for this video so I nicked down home base a few weeks ago and bought a couple of these little pressurized containers five litres comes with a nice hose I've drilled a little bit of a bigger hole in it because they're not meant for weed killer and stuff and it gives you a mist because I wanted a little bit more fluid out of it so I've opened the hole up a little bit uh, so I'll put neat degreaser in here and I'll work it into the engine bay and all the places that need to be degunked with a load of these little plastic brushes. Uh, yeah, obviously soak it all down, rinse it all off, get the, uh, the heat gun on it, dry it all off. I'll treat any areas of rust mm -hmm. with the built hamber stuff, which I've got here already, and obviously primer it. Ready for Raptor, um, and obviously that's a bit of a turning point really, because that's sort of all of the dirty stuff done, other than the engines obviously, but uh, yeah, actual car, fabrication, all that kind of stuff is, is done, so a, a good milestone to reach. So anyway, that's, that's it for this episode, hope you've enjoyed a bit of fabrication, uh, it's been a bit of a, bit of a challenge, it's took a little bit longer than, than I perhaps would have liked, some motivation sometimes, uh, yeah, it's just not there, but anyway, uh, we, got, we got through it in the end. So as always, um, click like, subscribe, you know, leave comments if you want advice or, or you want to give me advice, mm -hmm. then, then feel free to do that in the comments. Anyway, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.